Hi, everybody. It's Sydney here. And I wanted to just touch on, um, well, I wanted to tell you about PTSD from my perspective. I try to use very little complicated words, which I will leave to Lorelai to complicate you very much because she's wonderful at that. <laughs> she complicates me. <laughs> uh, she's complicated to me, that is. Um, I went through some really rough, horrible stuff, and it's not as bad as other people's. I didn't lose a leg. I didn't wasn't in a war. And, um, but having your life threatened uh, multiple times and being depressed to the point of stabbing yourself and cutting yourself and a whole bunch of other little things like hanging yourself off a windmill tower, uh, which did happen. And my mom and my wife know about that, but nobody else knew about that. It's been only two years. It happened after I lost my job at Walmart. Um, but um, let me get straight to the thing because it, it can't have stuff on my lap when it. I get really nervous and I get spastic and the, you, you're gonna see a little bit of it because I just I noticed I, <laughs> I had triggered. I noticed I triggered and I was like, this would be a really good time to record some of what happened. So I stutter and, um, and I get really picky about what heck is where and stuff. Like the, my bag is, was on my lap. It's not a big deal. It was actually pretty shady. My legs pretty well from the sun, which is actually funny. This this is spring. This is, today is the first day of spring, and it is 67 degrees. What most people consider the most comfortable temperature, and and I feel hot. I feel I feel like I'm gonna sweat, and I wouldn't feel this way before. I actually felt really nice, and I, and uh, until like 11 o'clock, I had a blanket on me in this car because. See, I had an issue last night with my parents, and I I couldn't take it, and I had to just leave. Uh, so I went to, to work with Kate, and I've been in the car all morning and all night. Well, all, not all night. All morning and all day. Uh, and I'll be getting home around 4 p.m., so it's going to be a whole day, and I only got like 30 minutes of sleep. Um... But my, and back to the topic, because I'm really bad at shifting to try to avoid trying to focus on the subject, and it doesn't just come very easily, especially, see, my ex and her mom they were pretty nice. They were very, very complimentary. Uh, and I did things for them. I, I, I cleaned house. I picked up the dog shit. I walked the dogs. I did a lot of things. A lot. I mean, I could have been a butler or maid or whatever you want to say it was. Um, but I didn't get really paid. I mean, I wasn't handed cash by any means. Uh, I, I was, uh, I was allowed to use a vehicle, and, and the vehicle was a, uh, Jeep Liberty, uh, which is a really nice, tr uh, vehicle. I, I really liked it. Uh, but the problem is that it was the mother's, and, uh, even though she never drove it because she had a con, you know, a, a business vehicle, and they let her just drive everywhere with it, so... So she uh, she trashed her vehicle and I cleaned it out and I and I you know used it uh, to go on job interviews, which is a miracle because I don't get to do that here. I've never gotten to do that 
here. I have to call businesses on the phone and say, are you hiring? And then I have to go ahead and find a time where somebody's going to go ahead and go up near that place and maybe talk them into going ahead and driving me over there to get the paper application. Then I have to go ahead and wait however long to get the paper application back there. And that that's pretty much what my life has been uh, with my family. I, I It's not easy. It's very hard, very, very hard. And it's even worse with eight miles to the nearest gas station, 20 miles to the nearest Walmart. And it's there's nothing there. There's just fields and highway. Uh, and most of it's dirt roads, which we live on dirt road. Um, okay, I started speeding up my talking. And I just knows that. Getting back to it, it's very complicated living out here. And Kay doesn't understand that. She just understands that it's quieter. And all those nice things about living in the country, she she absorbs them. She's like a big solar panel. She's getting all her energy from all, all of her tolerance from living out here because she's able to do so many other things that she never got to do in a crowded city environment like Seattle, um, like keeping 20 cats. 20 cats. Yes, she's a cat lady, but thankfully it's not inside the house. It's um, coming up on six minutes, and I, I don't know how to explain it anymore. Uh, I really stressed out last night. I posted things. Uh, I even put my car up for sale. It's been broken. It broke six months after I got it, and that was through social help. Uh, and they're never going to give me another car, so I'm screwed. I'm hoping to get enough to rebuild an engine on a vehicle that's at the farm, and then I have to put another car back together, which, if you were looking around me, this car was busted just a week ago for an entire month and a half, and it took us so much. We had weather, we had sick, we had just everything was fighting against us to get this thing that we could have done inside of three days, relaxed way, but it took six weeks, and uh, yeah, I'm a little stressed about putting another car together, uh, especially since I've got to remove the engine first, and then we got to put a clutch on it, and uh, Okay. So, get back to this. I I don't understand how nobody can notice things when I tell them that they're triggers. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, Lorelai is the complicated one. Uh, she, she's facing like a thousand people and trying to explain it to all of them. And it's just not going to happen because they're, they've got their own lives and they don't have it. They don't have PTSD. It's. It's only stuck with those who have it and those who are conscientious of people can barely comprehend it. But it's it's hard to swallow. Uh, but I have had anxiety attacks. I, in fact, one time here at, at Walmart, uh, I couldn't go into work. I broke down. And I couldn't breathe, and my legs went numb, and my dad didn't even get a chance to pull away from the ve- you know, from the parking lot before it happened, because <laughs> yeah, 
and I was just laying up against the brick. I was, I was almost, I was crying and wheezing, and and it was right there in public. It's big as day. People could just walk right by and look at me and say, "What the hell's wrong with that one?" That's what they do. People always look. Out of sight and out of mind doesn't exactly happen here or anywhere else. But the problem is that if someone sees something, they make their own judgment. And it took a while to explain that to the management because I can't afford a doctor. Oh, it's 11 minutes. That was one of my friends, well, say friend, but more like I know her name. And we do nothing but uh, say hi. That's the equivalency of a friend in Kansas. I feel like I just don't like it here. found it more hospitable jumping from couch to couch in which the people who I jumped to couch to couch with other than maybe some don't even like me <laughs> so Yeah, last night I came to this conclusion, and I know I'm at 12 minutes, but I gotta explain this. I came to this horrible, horrible, self-abusive uh, conclusion that I really deserve to die when those things happen to me, and I need I should have shut up and and when they were over, I should have just jumped off a bridge, and they were just, you know, hey. You know, you should have already done it. You know, you're worthless. Because you're going to be worthless when you get back to Kansas. And here I am, worthless. I haven't earned any money since, I think, September of last year. And it's the end of March now. It's more than six months almost. No, I think it is more than six months. Anyway, I hope you got an understanding of what's going on. But um, the color is the color of a blue focus gets to me, and Jeep Liberties with uh, the kind of hunter green blue get to me. Um. And sometimes it's just, I don't know what, but I can tell you right now, stress leads up to it, so what am I supposed to do about it? I can't. As long as I'm in this very stressful situation, which is called family, I can't. I can't start building, you know, walls up around it, so I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. I've got to shut this off before it's the 15 mar minute mark because I know that's all I have. Bye. Love y'all.